Okay, this is for exercise 18, the endocrine system. We're going to start at the top here. This right here is the thyroid gland, and it produces T4, T3, and calcitonin. And specifically, the T cells um, secrete the calcitonin. Um, this right here is the thyroid cartilage, and this is the hyoid bone. Next, we have um, what would be the thymus gland, but it's not here. Um, the thymus gland secretes thymosis, and, uh, which is a hormone that helps T cell maturation, and the T cells help with the immune system. Next, we have the heart. It's located in the mediastium, and the heart secretes natriuretic peptides. This helps to um, regulate high blood pressure, and it brings it down. We'll talk more about the heart later. Next, we have the kidney, and um, the kidneys release calcitriol, um, which helps increase calcium in the body, and also EPO, erythropoietin. This helps to stimulate red blood cell production in the bone marrow. Next, we have the suprarenal gland, or the adrenal gland, it's the same thing. Um, and then the three layers of the adrenal gland can be found on page 357, um, figure 18.8. Next, we have the pancreas. Um, this down here is the head of the pancreas. This is the body, and this is the tail. Now, the pancreas is both exocrine and endocrine. The reason why it's exocrine is because it secretes digestive enzymes um, from the pancreatic acini, and it goes into the um, duodenum of the small intestine through this little hole right here. And then the reason why it's endocrine, it has pancreatic islets, and these secrete um, glucagon when glucose is too high, and it secretes insulin when glucose is too low.